15 North American markets open for business. It follows yesterday's huge drop at the Toronto Stock Exchange. TSX lost more than 300 points by the end of trading in what was one of the biggest one-day losses in recent years. Sell-off is being blamed on investors alarmed about the falling price of oil. And oil was losing more ground yesterday. It dropped close to three dollars it's trading this morning at $63 a barrel U.S. Down to Ottawa, where the Harper government today introduces legislation designed to close the Canadian-American consumer price gap. CBC's Chris Hall has details. Sources tell CBC News the proposed Price Transparency Act will give Canada's Competition Bureau new powers to investigate cases of price discrimination between Canada and the U.S. Consumers here have long complained they pay more on everything from toys to books to electronics and cars. The Conservatives made narrowing this price gap a centerpiece of their Consumer First agenda set out in last February session. The bill to be tabled in the Commons today will give the Competition Commissioner the power to investigate what it calls unjustified cross-border price discrimination and to obtain court orders compelling companies to produce documents to prove that the this difference in what they charge is, is reasonable. The legislation is two. also expected Seven to give the commissioners the power to impose on it. to seniors, Ottawa. The United States is stepping up security at its, at its embassies and military bases around the world ahead of today's release of an explosive intelligence report. It's expected to re reveal in detail the interrogation methods used by the CIA during the George W. Bush administration. CBC's Derek Stockwell report. The report from a U.S. Senate committee is expected to shed more light on the CIA's efforts to go after al-Qaeda after the September 11th attacks. Most controversially, it will likely lay out how CIA operatives extracted information from suspects. Rights groups say it's more evident that the agency tortured people to try to gain information. Here's the report will state that the methods used were perhaps even more brutal than previously known, such as the technique of waterboarding suspects. The Senate document is also expected to answer the critical question, did these interrogation methods provide life-saving information? The answer to that appears to be no. That's why the United States is bracing for protests and possibly violence. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Jerusalem. The man accused of impersonating a Canadian soldier at the National War Memorial on Remembrance Day is scheduled to appear in court later this morning. Frank Gervais was charged by Ottawa police after appearing on CBC TV wearing a military uniform. Gervais is facing a number of charges, including two counts of impersonating a public officer. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have a full day ahead of them today as their visit to the New York City continues. <coughs> <coughs> For the royal couple, this morning begins on a somber and reflective note. They will tour the new 9-11 National Memorial Museum. 67 Britons died in the World Trade Center attack, more than any other country besides the United States. The weather will match the mood. Pouring rain and high winds are forecast. Not a great day for views, but that's not expected to stop the Duke from checking out the cloudy skyline from the top of the Empire State Building, accompanied by Mayor Bill de Blasio. That excursion is not officially on the Duchess's itinerary, but she may join if she feels up to it. Due to her pregnancy, breaks for rest will build into her schedule. And, of course, she needs time to get ready for the evening event, a glamorous fundraiser at the Met. From the gun call, CBC News, New York. And that is CBC News to this hour. You can broadcast live and podcast at cbcnews.ca.